Last year, Bushwick Berlin. Girl, her grinder was just like. <laughs> they wanted the chocolate goodies. They wanted chocolate the girl. <laughs> Hello, my name is Horachara and I am a drag queen. I live in Brooklyn and I am the co-founder of Bushwick Festival. Bushwick is a weekend festival that happens once a year and it's starting to travel so it's, you know, we're spreading the love international. It's a day to celebrate love, drag, music, and if you feel like a freak, this we take you with open hands, so yeah. Hi, my name is Mary Cherry, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York! Yeah. And um, I am a drag queen, party producer, uh, mother of dragons, if you will, and um, just a sassy bitch living her life, you know? Just, yeah. That was a long intro. Yes. <laughs> yes, girl. You know, it's not even just my work as a drag queen and a um, producer, but just doing what I've been doing for the last almost decade now has turned me into a different person where every day is a way for me to shout out to the world. I am this, this is who I am, I am different, but I'm also someone to be respected. Being out has taught me to be true to myself and to be honest and love yourself. You know, because when we're little, we don't we don't have these these lessons. You know, no one's gonna teach us like, hey, you're queer. This is what's gonna happen. No one just gives you like a paper or something. Uh, so it's like being out has made me feel like a brand new lady that I am today. <laughs> being an out gay man has taught me how to really <laughs> well. Because if I was straight, I wouldn't know yeah. how to. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> my legacy's not written in stone yet, but if I had any control, I think I would hope that my legacy would be someone who really tried to support people of color and uplift their community regardless of their race or our, our gender and someone who did not take shit from anyone, but with a smile on their face. I would like to think I would pass down like the torch to some baby queen and maybe Bushwick could go on forever and that would kind of be kind of cool, right? I don't know. What gave me a sense of pride last year was taking the what we do in bars and clubs outside and putting them into museums like the Momo PS1, Cooper Hewitt, Brooklyn Museum, just and to into name the a, real world. And just to name a few. And yeah, <laughs> and take it into the real world because drag is now it's not underground anymore, so it's like people are here for the drag. That's the great thing about drag right now is that we are not in the bars and clubs, like you said. Like, we are in front of you on the street. This is who we are. Yeah. Men who dress up like beautiful women. Okay, girl. Pride is love. Pride is living your best possible life without any apology, just <laughs> doing you, honey. Oh, <laughs>